Sadika. Hi, I'm Stacy, and we're now standing at one of Thailand's national parks, King Rama the Ninth Park, located in Bangkok. Oops, I mean Khun Thae. So how is it that us foreigners have been mistakenly calling Khun Thae as Bangkok for the past 200 years? So the story behind this whole misnaming of Bangkok lies in the history of Thailand. In 1768, King Daksin moved its capital from Ayutthaya to Thonburi. Now Thonburi is situated across Bangkok through the Chao Phraya River. And in 1782, King Chakri, the King Rama I, moved his capital from Thonburi across the river to Bangkok, Ban Magog, for a safe and a more defensible location. When King Rama I moved its capital to Ban Mahgok, he actually bestowed a new beautiful name to the capital city called Khun Tet Mahagon. That's the formal name. The official name actually has 152 letters and 64 syllables. Mary Poppins' supercalifragilisticexpialidocious has 14 syllables, so just imagine 64. The meaning of Khun Tet Mahagon is actually the city of angels and the official meaning is literally six seven lines long it's a really long name and it's actually the longest name of a capital in the world now the official name of Khun Tep has a lot of meaning and I'm going to translate it for you today. Khun Tep means the city of angels, the great city, the residence of the Emerald Buddha, the impregnable city of Ayutthaya of God Indra, the grand capital of the world that's endowed with nine precious gems, the happy city... Sorry, sorry, water. It's a really long name here continue. <laughs> the happy city abounding in an enormous royal palace which resembles the heavenly abode of reincarnated gods. A city done by Indra and built by Vishnakan. Wow, that's a real powerful name right there. So prior to this whole name change, all of the Western world maps knew Ban Magog as Bangkok. I guess when King Ram I changed his name, the map makers didn't get their memo. So if you want to know more about Thailand's history or any Asian country's history for that matter, how about you make me the host of History Asia so that we can learn, share, and discover all of Asia's history together. So think about it, and I'll see you around next time. This is Stacy. Take care.